All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is Brother Kasha Kuala. Coming back to y'all with another lesson coming from the GMS Atlanta Church here in Georgia, giving all glory, honor, and praises unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rahakwadash. Give a double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well. Peace of salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. All right, you know, I just decided to do a quick in transit. I ain't had you no know, scriptures in mind or nothing like that. But, uh, just a few. I'm just now getting off work. It's about 1 a.m. in the morning. You know, uh, you know, the Lord blessed me with this little new gig I had. You know, it's whatever. You know, something to <laughs> hold on to until the Jacob's trouble come. But it, I was just thinking about a few things at my job, man. Like I do video monitoring, and we watch things. We watch like different properties, and you know. Uh, and try to secure the 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 vicinity pretty much by vi visually. And um, I walk into work today, and they talking about what happened last night. And I ha I so happened not to work last night, and it's just crazy because I just watched Apostle Tahar's video about you know these 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 two Jakes trying to beat up this um, store clerk and a security guard, you know, OC them. But in this case, when we were watching the video clips of what had happened last night, man, there's these two Jakes talking, and then one Jake walked off, and then other, and the one who walked off from the other Jake, the other Jake pulled out a gun and shot him like eight times in the back, man. <laughs> like, you know, like crazy, you know? And it was crazy too, man, because we get the police reports, and we get the cases, and we, we get to hear what happens after we had, you know, called called it in and saw what happened. Um, the dude wasn't even dead. He got shot like six times in the back or whatever. And he's in critical condition. But that goes to show you, man, that's, these niggas out here don't got it, bro. The spirit ain't with them. And I like to say this, I, I, I have made this up, man. Uh, but, uh, you know, these, you know, we going to go into Jacob's trouble. Uh, we're going to go into Jacob's trouble with your how about Shimmy Shai on our side, man. These two third Jakes ain't going to have your how about Shimmy Shai. So it's going to be like playing a uh, Russian roulette. It's going to be like playing Russian roulette with a fully loaded chamber, man. They threw. Okay. I just thought that was kind of crazy, man, because what does scripture say, you know, what does scripture say in Sirach? Because these niggas is like faint hearted or whatnot or scared. So they won't be defended in that day, man. But the men of the Lord who've been out here pushing this word with all truth and sincerity, we're going to be the ones defended because we're going to call on you. How about me out shy? Because we understand via the scripture that his name is a tower and we run into it and we are safe you know and also it says in uh proverbs 8 and 17 if i'm not mistaken that uh that uh, uh I, he, he loves uh, loves them who love me you know who dil diligently seek him out loosely paraphrasing you know but these niggas ain't got it that's why they get shot in the street they just get shot down in the street by another Jake that's part of the curses or, or a, a, a low-down, dirty-ass cop, man. And rightfully so, because nobody dies innocent, like it says in the book of Job. Um, the third the third or fourth chapter, if, if I'm not mistaken, you know? And also another thing, man, I was walking into work. The way you get into my job, they have it secured. Like, the way you get into my job... They, uh, all you have to do is just like, it's a motion sensor, a motion sensor on the door. So all you got to do is like swipe your hand across the thing like that and the fucking door opens, man, you know? And then to clock in, I remember when I was, you know, first, you know, getting everything situated, they... They gave me a code, or not a code, but they gave me an operator number. They, 
they did this and that, but you know how when you get a new iPhone, the iPhone will be like, let me get your fingerprint. The way we clock in, we had it, we had it, it was just like the iPhone. You had to put your finger on there like three or four times so it can register your your fingerprint. So every time I come in and clock in, I gotta put my finger on there and it'll be like, welcome. You've clocked in at this and this time. I'm like, what the hell is going on? So it's like another indication, man. This this technology is, is here, man. And it's undeniable that the mark of the beast is the chip, man. It's undeniable, man. You know? As Esau gets more intelligent, well, not more, you know, as he gets more uh, wicked and crafty in his ways, you know, this te technology is going to boost up and ultimately go into everything being you uh, via the chip, man, you know? But it was just something as simple as me walking in the place. The whole place is secure. You all, if you, the only people who could be in there is who worked there, who works there. Other than that, you, there's no way you can get in there unless you're in the system and unless your fingerprint, and unless your fingerprint is is a uh, is in the system as well, man. You know, that goes all the way back to the Revelation 13. And I like to say nine and ten. Because verse 9 says, uh, he who has a hear, ear, let him hear, man. You know? And then, obviously, uh, you know, you can go into verse 10, lead the cat into captivity or whatnot. But going uh, even, you know, into that chapter, it says, it talks about the mark of the beast, man. And then when you go into the Revelation of 14 chapter... It says anybody, pretty much anybody who takes that mark shall uh, drink of the cup without mixture of, you know, the indignation of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And when you go into the word indignation, it means fierce anger or wrath, man. You know, you got to take that shot to the head, man. You know what I'm saying? You know how you <laughs> try taking a hundred proof vodka in a shot. Take that shit straight to the head, man. That shit ain't with no mixer or no chaser. Man, that ain't what's up. It don't taste good, you know? It don't taste good. It's the same thing with that cup. If you take that chip, man. And then, you know, these niggas out here, these, I, I'm speaking like niggas as in uh, these other Hebrew Israelite camps who, who push that the mark of the beast in the scriptures is not talking about the RFID chip, you're going to have to take account of that when the day comes, man. When that day comes, when when all hell breaks loose, you're going to have to uh, take take count of that. You're going to be judged for that, man. That's why you have 1 Corinthians, the, the third chapter. Do you know? I think uh, uh, when you start getting to the, like, verses 15 through, like, 18 verses you'll be tried by by the fire man that fire is the tribulation we'll see who was right you know and in the spirit man and i believe wholeheartedly that the doctrine that is being pushed in gms is the correct accurate most 100 percent doctrine out there man you know but i you know i was just ram you know kind of rambling on because i just noticed some things at my job i noticed like where I work is highly tech, uh, technological, man. And that chip technology is going to be a serious thing when it comes out, man. Especially at my job. Shit, I'm just going to have to lose that shit if they ask me to put a damn uh, grain of rice in my hand. I'm like, well, sorry, can't, can't work here no more. You know what I'm saying? You know? Oh, well, so be it. You know? But, hey, this this it has to happen, man. This chip has to go out worldwide. You know? It has to go out worldwide, and in turn, everything is going to fall in place. There's a lot of prophecies coming to pass. And me personally, I always say to the Akim, and they'll know if they watch it, if they watch this video, they'll know. I always say, man, I don't see past three fucking weeks, man. I do not see past three weeks. Because how fast things are moving, man. I'm just hastening, hastening the day. That's it, man. You know? 
not losing steam, but hasting into the in, in the day, because these prophecies are ramping up like no other, you know. So you know, I just wanted to come with a quick hitter, a little testimony of mine, you know, giving all glory, honor, and praises unto Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rechakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Billstone, Ruel, Pixel, salutation to the elect one forty-four first fruit. All right, Shalom.